fan. A ver si cuando lo pone con el chase es más de fan. Por favor. <risa> Oh, sorry. Another nightmare. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Cudgel here. Now, if you haven't figured it out yet, I really like doing stories about small animals. Like, maybe my favorite video I've ever done is the one about the cat hanging from the top of that stadium that... I, I love the way that video turned out. I just like talking about cute little animals, okay? It's it's more fun than talking about Travis Scott with his, his four... Is that Travis? I made a video on it. How can't I remember the guy's name? Little Uzi. Little Uzi. Okay, that's the guy's name. It's, it's not it's not Travis Scott. See, I got the two confused because they're bl rappers. Rap, what'd you think I was gonna say? That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm not racist. I, mean, I did get the two confused, but that's because I don't listen to rap. Not, not because of any sort of... It's not... I'm not... I'm not racist, okay? I'm not. Speaking of race, let's talk about something that's white and black. Pingu the penguin. A penguin has found itself on the shores of New Zealand, at least 3,000 kilometers, in freedom units, that's 1,800 miles, away from its natural habitat in Antarctica. The Adeli penguin, who has now been affectionately named Pingu by locals, was found looking lost on the coast. That's why I showed that video of, of Pingu at the start of the video. Pingu was a kid's TV show, stop motion and stuff. It's, it's a cute name to name this penguin, but it's kind of bad. When I first saw that, the only thing that played through my mind was that clip of Pingu pissing. That was the funniest video ever when I was in the sixth grade. Harry Singh, the local resident who found him, said he thought he was a soft toy at first. It is only the third recorded instant of an Adeli penguin being found on New Zealand's coast. First I thought it was a soft toy. Suddenly the penguin moved his head. So I realized it was real. That's a f I love- I love animal stories, man. I really do. This guy just walking along with his wife, you know, checking out the beach, having a- having a fun time. He sees a little penguin and thinks it's like a stuffed animal or something at first. Then it just turns its head. The hair flip I got on that turn was exceptional. It did not move for one hour and looked exhausted, Mr. Singh said. He then proceeded to call penguin rescuers as he was concerned that the penguin was not getting into the water, thereby making it a potential target for other predatory animals roaming the beach. We did not want it to end up in a dog's or cat's stomach. Which, you know what, that's brutal to think about. It's funny to me. Like, I don't want to see this happen, but I kind of want to see it happen. I want to see a cat fight a penguin. I mean, I think I know who'd win. It'd definitely be the cat, but it's just the thought of that I like a lot. Like, people make chickens fight? Like, that's not entertaining. Give me some penguins and some cats and we'll, we'll have a fun time. He eventually got through to Thomas Strack, who has been rehabilitating penguins on New Zealand's South Island for about 10 years. Mr. Strack was shocked to find that the penguin was an Adelic penguin, a species that lives exclusively on the Antarctic Peninsula. Pingu was slightly underweight and dehydrated, although has since been given fluids and fed via a feeding tube. The discovery is only the third in history that an Adelie penguin has been found on New Zealand's coast, following two incidents in night following two incidents in 1993 and 1962. As for what's gonna happen to Pengu, the bird will eventually be released onto a safe beach on Banks Peninsula, which is free of dog. I love animal stories so much. Now, I have one more little treat for you. There's the story all laid out right there, but I got the video for you of this guy discovering Pengu. Look at that little bird. He's just what he's flapping it. I want a penguin as a pet now. Wouldn't that be the best? Just a penguin as a pet. I never smile more in my videos than when I'm talking about a small animal. Look at him. Look at Pingu. Isn't that I love I, isn't that just isn't that just well, I think after this video, I think we're all a little happier. Maybe I should just shift my channel to just strange stories about animals. Because they're the best videos to make anyways. Small animals are just so much better than humans. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this story. I, I know I did. Stay safe out there, guys. Uh, if you see a penguin wash up on the beach, give him some water, I guess. I, I don't know. What do penguins eat? What do penguins eat? Grill squids and fishes? Wait, penguins kill squid? I never know that. Well, you learn something every day.